Hey guys, welcome to Helton's Computer Repair. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up the proxy settings on Firefox. This is pretty much allowing this proxy for NordVPN. NordVPN has the application that you can install on Windows operating system, also on Macs and Linux and Android and so many other ones out there. That means if you already have this and you don't want to choose installing the program, there's another option you can go to is going to Firefox or Chrome and you can just install the extension. But if you don't want to install the extension neither, I'll be showing you how you can manually set up the proxy settings. Now NordVPN is not a free program. It is actually, you have to pay for the subscription, but it's an excellent system that is used to hide yourself from the web. So I'll show you real quick by going to NordVPN.com. NordVPN tells me right now that I'm unprotected and you get the point there are pricing there that starts all the way down from 2.99 to that be pretty much be 2.99 for 3 years worth for 107.55 so 3 years worth for only 107.55 that's kind of a steal or you can go up to stuff like going for 2 year to 1 year and the prices change or you can just pay for monthly for 11.95 if that's what you want to choose you will pretty much have to create an account for you to do this and you get the rest but that's another story so for the rest let's get started and I'll be showing you how to set up the proxy settings on Firefox. So first thing you do is go ahead and open up Firefox if you have it installed. And you're going to pretty much go to the Firefox menu right here and you're then going to scroll down to see options. Options will be in that list. When you get there all you have to do is scroll down and you see network proxy let's see if it's in here it might be underneath network settings if I was correct I don't see it there so it's probably right here network settings and here we have it you can use a uh, system proxy settings we're gonna choose selecting the manual proxy configurations for this to work and those are normal systems that are there kind of just as is to do this we're going to go ahead and go to the web and we're going to go ahead and go to google we're going to type in nord vpn best server and you'll see nord vpn servers right here and it'll choose the best one based on your area once you choose recommended server now this can change over time so you may have to do this if it randomly changes like you're going to the web and it doesn't want to work or let's say it's just being fully loaded from everyone using that same VPN right there so I'm gonna go ahead and come and just copy that file and now we'll go back to options again right here I'm pretty much going to type in the HTTP proxy right there and press paste use this proxy for all protocols so it'll take place for everything what you're going to do is actually select the port 280 for this to work. After you've done that, you'll press OK if I'm correctly. Actually, right here where it says do not attempt, be sure that you choose the box for it. That's actually needed too. And then that should be about it. You'll press OK. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out and exit out again. We're going to go ahead and open up Firefox one time. And by default, it's prompting me for this to work. I'm going to go ahead and press cancel. It won't let me because pretty much you have to use this if you want the system to work. So if I go to anything, you see it prompts me again. I'm going to go ahead and go to google.com. See, I can't. It needs this to go through. Let me type in my user. You have the option if you want to put it to remember. I would recommend not to. That's the whole point for this. And let me try that again. I think I might have mistyped it. And here we are. I'm going to go ahead and type in NordVPN. And I'm going to test their site and see if it tells me if I'm secured or not and it tells me that I am protected right now just to be sure I'm going to go ahead and go to here and type in what's my IP 
Now this will apply on your computer if you do what's my IP first and you see what it is. It has changed to this random one. Pretty much that simple. Now if you do not want it to be there anymore or problems comes up, you can just simply go to the same sets by going to options, scrolling down once you get there and you'll see network settings, select settings for it and just press use proxy settings or hell you can just choose no proxy at all and press OK. And I will X out the browser from Firefox, open again. It hasn't prompted me. I'm going to go ahead and go to like google.com and it is clear. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store link in the video description and for the rest I will see you on the next video.